a very good morning to all today we are moving on to a new chapter and the name of the chapter is the sky this is chapter number 30 so first of all let me ask you so have you all seen the sky have you seen the sky during a day so just go out and just look upwards you can see the sky the clear sky looks blue during the day and you can see the sun sun shining in the sky sun gives us light and heat so that is why it is bright during the day so do you know where the sun rises sun rises in the east and it sets in the west and you can see the sun from morning to evening so during a day you can see the sky so the clear sky looks blue during the day then what all things you can see can you see the clouds yes you can see the clouds in the sky when there are many clouds the sun hides behind these clouds so that is about the sky during day then what about sky at night so have you seen the sky at night if you haven't you can just look into the sky at night how does it look is it bright no right it is dark the sky looks dark at night what about sun can you see the sun no sun is not seen in the sky during night so the sky looks dark at night then what all things you can see in the sky at night can you see the stars yes right you can see the bright spots so these are stars you can see the stars twinkling so have you ever thought why these stars look very small because they are very away from us these stars are very away from us but these stars are bigger as we are away from it it looks smaller the stars are bigger they are actually bigger but we are away from it so that is why it looks smaller even the stars gives light and heat so during night you can see the stars you can see the bright spots you can see the tiny bright spots which are called stars then you can see the clouds so we learnt the sky during day and sky at night so let me ask you where does the sun go at night at night we know that there is no sun why because it is very dark so where does the sun go at night sun is going nowhere it remains in the same position it remains in its same place shining all the time but our earth earth is our planet we all live in which planet earth our earth our planet earth is rotating all the time we can say our planet earth is moving all the time it turns like a top have you seen the top so it is rotating or you can say it is moving like a top all the time so the sun is going nowhere it is in the same position shining all the time but earth is moving all the time so what happens as the earth moves so you can see the earth so here you can see the sun so what happens as the earth moves so as the earth moves some part of the earth faces the sun and some part of the earth moves away from the sun here you can see this part is facing the sun so this part receives light from the sun so that part will have day then can you see this dark part so some part is away from the sun some part of the earth is away from the sun so that part will have night so that is why it is dark during night that is the part of the earth is away from the sun so sun is not going anywhere it is shining all the time now let's discuss about the moon so when can you see the moon we can see the moon at night 
And what is the shape of the moon? It is round in shape like a ball. So is the moon same every night? No. It looks different on different nights. Then even on some days we see the moon during daytime also. So that is about the moon. So that is all about the chapter the sky. So we learned about the sky during a day. Then we learned about the sky at night. During night there is no sun. You cannot see the sun and the sky looks dark. Then we learned that we can see tiny bright spots in the sky during night which is called stars. Then in page number 88 you can see a box given did you know. Stars always shine in the sky. So stars always shine in the sky. During the day the sunlight is so bright that it hides the stars. So stars are shining all the time but during daytime the sunlight is so bright that is why it hides the stars. So sun is a star. It gives us light and heat and it is very closer to the earth. It is closer to the earth than all other stars. In page number 89, you can see the box remember. So you can see a picture there. So you can see that the earth is moving all the time. So as the earth moves, some part of the earth faces the sun. So that part will have day. You can see the picture here. And part of the earth which is away from the sun will have night. So during night, we can see the stars. Stars are very away from us. So it looks small. Then the sky is dark. Then you can see the moon. And the moon looks different on different nights. Then during day you can see the blue and clear sky and sun shines in the sky and the sun gives us light and heat. So that is why it is bright during the day. So that is all about the chapter the sky. So hope you all understood. Let's meet in the next class and let's discuss the exercise. So till then thank you.